okay next we are going to learn about the seventh table so what is the main reason uh, we are reading the seventh table after eight minutes to know about a one single step what is a single step mean see here for next you are writing the next you are following the same number here this is a step going to be followed for the seventh table also that is a one point that is a one reason to read the eighth table before the seventh table okay I'm just drawing the square. Okay. As like a three tables, I'm going to draw the two standing line and two sleeping line. Uh, in the three table, we have filled the number from uh, down to up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Here, up to down in a back wise or back wise order. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now the first digit is going to be filled with the as usual, like a zero, one, two. Listen, two. What is the number you are going to return right here? As like a fourth table. Yes, again you are going to write the sub two, three, four. Again, what the table number you are going to write? Four, because here four as like a eight table. Four. Five six. So one into seven is equal to seven. Two into seven is equal to fourteen. Three into seven is equal to twenty one. Five sorry four into seven is equal to twenty eight. Five into seven is equal to thirty five. Six into seven is equal to forty two. Seven into seven is equal to forty nine. Eight into seven is equal to fifty six. Nine into seven is equal to sixty three. Ten into seven is equal to seventy. I think hope you all understand. See here, I've just I have drawn what what we have followed in a three table, the grid method three table. Two slanting line and two sleeping line. But what is the difference between the third table and seventh table? Means in the third table, I have written one, two, three, four, five, six. But here you are going to write from upwards from the back box. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ah, uh, from first digit, ah, uh, same like one, two. Sorry, zero, one, two. So, what is the method we have taken from the eighth table? This is a method. So here also two. So here also going to two, three, four. So here also four. Here also four, five, six. So now we got the seventh table. Okay, hope you all understand how the seventh and eighth table works. This is the easiest method. As I say, uh, saying for at every time, you have to be very clear in a every grid method. In a three table, how the grid works? Down to upwards from the starting, from the forward. How the uh, grid method works in seventh table? It will start from the upward down in from the backward. Okay, so you want to remember about those kind of thing. And also using this method, you can read it for a thrice or four times or five times. After that, you have to be very clear about only the numbers, not the method. You want to be very clear about the number seven. Uh, fourteen, twenty-one. You want to be very clear about the number, not uh, not to the uh, method. So if you keep on following the method, and uh, for every instant you are following the method, with it will be not uh, you are using efficiently. If you want to be use this methods efficiently, means you want to be memorize the each and every diagrammatic format of every number so how many tables we have completed we completed the two tables what is the method we have completed by using the skip count by method we have completed the two table next three tables what is the procedure we have completed the three tables using the grid method we have uh, completed the three and fourth table what is the procedure to uh, uh, the, we have studied it for a four Table using the star method, we have read the four table and five tables. Five table means it's like a clock. By using the clock, we have read the five table and the six and seven. Sixth table using the grid method. Okay, seventh table same grid method. 
8 tables, same grid method, 9th, first digit forward counting, second digit backward counting. 10th table is a very easiest table. For example, 2 into 10 means you are going to write the 2, at the end you are putting a 0. For 3 into 10 means you are going to write the 3, at the end you are going to write the 0. Okay children, now we, now you all completed the from 2 to 10 tables. Now we have completed the tables fully. From the next class, we are going to jump into the exercise. How the tables help us to do the multiplication as very easy. Okay.